Welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today we're going to start the build process of the Tamiya Ford Bronco 2021 four-wheel drive on the CC02 chassis. Now, if you'd like to see the unboxing for this that I did and uh, what my plans are for this vehicle, you can go right here uh, and then you'll be able to see what I'm, what I'm up to. Um, but before we get started, if you are intending on building this kit along with me, I highly suggest that you get yourself a set of ball bearings. Uh, these ones are Fast Eddie. They're not specifically for the car. I've got them on order. Um, there seems to be some delays, but I thought I'd get started with this video. Um, but either way, I highly recommend that you get yourself a set of ball bearings before you start this. Being that it's four-wheel drive, uh, it's just not worth putting in the plastic and uh, bush and metal bushings that come with the kit. You might as well have something that's going to last you a long time, and the way to ensure that is to put in that full set of ball bearings. So first off, I'd just like to take you through the manual, see what we're going to be up against. Um, I'm not going to go through that, we'll just start at one. Again, they're showing for the first step to charge the battery. I'm not going to be doing that uh, because it's going to take a bit of time to put this kit together and I don't see the point in doing that right off the bat. So for step two, you actually have a choice here. This is standard gear ratio, um, but this one here, you can actually change it. Where is it? The low speed gear ratio. So right now I'm going to tell you that I will be doing the low speed gear ratio in the build. I want this more as a crawler trail rider than something that goes fast. So I will be, be building this um, with the low speed gears in mind. So that's very cool. So again with this kit we're going to be working on the gears right away. So then in step three we're going to be working on the gearbox. Um, and then in step four, we're going to be attaching the spur gear. Step five, uh, we're going to attach the spur gear cover. And then we're going to move on to step six, working with the pinion gear. And then in step seven, we're going to be attaching the motor <clears throat> to that gearbox. And then we're going to start working on the battery case uh, first by the looks of it. Interesting. And then we're going to be working on the main frame. Uh, and this is different to the CC01 because this is a ladder frame chassis versus the bathtub chassis. Uh, and again, here we go. We're going to be working on some more subframe parts. And this is where it gets interesting. You have a choice here as to whether you want the servo mounted up and down or sideways. I'm going to install it sideways. I'm not going to do the up and down option. So that will have some effect when we get to this, this part, um, but we'll deal with it then. Um, but I'm gonna install that servo that way. And then you can see attaching the subframe, the front again, because this is interesting. So again, the whole ladder frame idea, uh, the rear cross members in step 12. Then in step 13, we're gonna be attaching the subframe in the rear. And then in 14, we're gonna be attaching the gearbox and it's install that all into the middle of the chassis. And then we're gonna start working on the propeller shafts in step 15. And then in 16, more propeller shafts. And then in 17, we're gonna attach the arm pivots and in 18, we're gonna start working with the differential gears. So that's interesting. And these ones, uh, we're going to, they're all, it's a gear differential. So we will be building this as a locked differential as well. Um, I'm going to lock the rear and have the front gearbox open. That's my plan at this stage anyway. I just don't think I wanna lock the front at this point. If I find that it's not working out so well, I may go back and lock it, but for now, the rear will be locked, the front will be open. So then in step 19, we're gonna be working on the drive shafts. 
And then we've got the front axle housing. So you can see we're gonna be putting that together in step 20. And then in step 21, we've got the uh, front axle pivots. Those are gonna be installed. And then in 22, we're gonna be attaching the uprights. And in 23, we're gonna attach those front arms. This is gonna be very cool because in another video I talk, which I can, I can show you right here, I talk about my original uh, Jeep uh, Wrangler uh, that is 30 years old on the CC01 chassis. So this is gonna be a very different build. Um, it's a, you know, being a ladder frame design, it, it's, a, it's a huge improvement. So this is gonna be awesome to just see the differences. And then we, we start working on the rear drive shafts in step 25. And then in step 26, we're gonna attach that rear differential. And moving on. So in step 27, we're gonna work with the rear axle housing. And step 28, we're gonna attach the axle housing pivots. And then in 29, we're gonna be attaching the rear arms. Very, very cool. I would say that this isn't a beginner kit. This, this is a little bit more involved uh, than your typical buggy. So you may want to have a bit more experience before you start building this, this kit, attaching the front axle housing. Then in 32, we're gonna attach the rear axle housing. This is just too, too cool. And then in 33, we're gonna start working on building the oil dampers, which is very, very cool. So you can see in 34, we're gonna be doing the same thing. It talks about the different uh, oil weights. Um, I can't remember which oil this one comes with. Uh, 35, attaching the front dampers. Very, very cool. And then in 36, we're gonna attach the rear dampers. And then in 37, we're gonna to move to checking the RC equipment. Now, once I know that we're gonna start using something here, then I'll be charging the battery, but you can see we're 37 steps in, so I'm not worried about it at this stage of the aim. Uh, so there'll be a whole thing with that. We'll figure that out later. Then in 38, we're gonna attach the servo. Now you see this, they're showing the standard way of doing it is parallel. Um, and I know there's an up and down version. We are going to install it as you see here. This is the other way that you can install the servo. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna do it this way. So there is a bit of a change to it depending on which version you do. So then in 39, we're gonna attach the RC equipment as you see here. And then in 40, we're going to stow the cables. So basically figure out how to, you know, make sure they're all out of the way. And then in 41, we're gonna attach the bumpers. You can see both front and back. And then in 42, we're gonna work on the wheels. Now I intend on painting the little knobs on the wheels. I think it's gonna look a lot better than just the black. Um, it's kind of gonna give it a bit more of a rugged look, I think. So, you know, we'll I'll show you when, when we get to that step. Then in 43, we're gonna attach the wheels. And then in 44, we're looking at attaching the antenna pipe. And then in 45, we're going to install the battery pack. Uh, again, I don't think I'm gonna be doing that just yet. I'm not gonna be ready to use it, so I may skip that, but we'll see. May just do it just to show you how that is placed. And then in 46, we have attaching the body mounts. So th that's the next step after that. Now, after step 46, it starts talking about the body. So you can see in 47, it's talking about uh, the holes. Um, and I did a video on how to use a body reamer. Best tool I think you're gonna find. It's so much easier to do than using a drill. Um, you've got way more hand control. So highly suggest getting a body reamer for these next following steps. 
and then in 48 we're cutting out the body um, and then it goes into painting the body and I think um, I in the video you'll see that that's obviously the box art typically I do box art I'm not going to do box art and in actual fact I'm a little bit ahead of the game so I'm going to show you here is the Bronco body I have already painted it um, or had it painted I a, a lot of the stickers are for the wheel wells I didn't want that so this is actually painted on all the black everything you see it has been painted including some very cool see the uh, windows they've been tinted that's a paint so that again is gonna look make this car look so so cool so the body itself is painted but there's still a tremendous amount of work that's going to go on this car before it's finished because once we get through the painting here's all the markings so i still will include some of the stickers on this like for example the windshield has a windshield mask that makes it look like you've got a rear view mirror etc all that stuff is going to still be installed on it despite the fact that i've had it painted um, and then we're going to move on to attaching the trail uh, sights very very cool and then in 52 the headlights because as you know this kit comes with headlights or at least it does in the north american marketplace i have a feeling it doesn't in the um, uh, european marketplace if i remember correctly so then we're going to be attaching the headlights here in step 53 then in step 54 we're going to attach the tail lights and then in 56, we're gonna attach the spare tire. And again, there's all sorts of decals that we need to add to this to finish it off. Then in 56, we're attaching the side mirrors. There's, there's a lot of work that goes into this body, I have to tell you. So then you've got your roof rails because this also comes with um, a roof rack in which we'll be installing in step 59. And I've, I'm ordering um, a whole sort of off-road kit that's going to be placed inside this roof rack just to make it a bit more, uh, well, just to have a bit more fun, make it a bit more realistic uh, as it's driving down the trails. Then we're going to attach the roof rack in step 60. And then in 61, we're going to be attaching the body to the posts. So there are 61 steps in this kit and then of course it's going into your troubleshooting and whatnot but we don't need to go through all, all of that so that is the manual overview for the ford bronco 2021 this is going to be so so cool and again if you're intending on building this kit along with me do get yourself a set of ball bearings doesn't have to be fast eddy but do get the ball bearings um, you'll definitely thank me later so until next time, we'll see you in another video.